Hi, welcome to my channel. Today I decided to edit this photo because I wanted to show you how to change the sky. So let's get started. First thing we're going to do is we're going to cut out this foreground. So just come over here to the selection brush and just kind of go around the mountains. Doesn't have to be perfect because we're going to refine it here in a minute. But let's get as much as we can. Make sure all this is cut out. Okay, then we're going to come up here and click Refine. I'm going to zoom in a little. All right, now see how it's missed a few spots. So we're just going to brush over those. And sometimes it doesn't do a very good job. So if you come over here and you click Foreground, and then just click right there, then it figures out what you're trying to do. We'll go back to Math. see if it'll get that. It did. Let's go back this way. Alright. <laughs> that one. Oops, I think I went too far. Alright, we're going to click foreground again just to fix this. Alright, there we go. Go back to Matt. And I want to not forget this little mountain back here. I'm going to click the foreground. It's just easier to just click it one or two times and have it just automatically sort of fill in for you when you do foreground. So back to Matt. Let's just check everywhere. That looks pretty good. Okay, I'm going to feather it by about, and that was probably too many. More like just one pixel just to make it a little soft. And then down here we're going to choose new layer with mask and click apply. And it will shut off the background for us. So it will look funny. And if there's something that we really didn't like, something that was bothering us, we could go back and adjust it, you know, by drawing on the mask, but I'm just going to leave it as is. And so the the sky that I chose was I didn't have one of my own that I really liked, so I found one on Pixabay. So I have the link in my in the description below, and it is this one. We're not going to use the beach or the ocean. We just wanted the birds and the sky. So I'm just going to Control C and copy it, and come over here and Control V and paste it, and then I'm just going to stretch it out and stretch it down. There we go, make it fit. And then I'm going to drag that layer behind my my original background layer. All right. And I think I want my birds a little higher, so I'm just going to slide it up just a little right about there. All right. And you can zoom in and you can see that the selection did a pretty good job. There really isn't too much that needs fixing, especially since it's in the distance. So, we're going to leave it as is. Okay, and the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to darken these mountains a little bit because I think they're too bright. So, we're just going to go to Adjustments, Levels, and then I'm going to slide the blacks over a bit. Don't worry about the whole picture. Just get the mountains to look as dark as you want. I might even move this over a smidge. All right. And then Control I inverts that layer. Now it's gone. And then with our brush tool, and let's make sure we've got white paint. We do. We're just going to come in and I'm going to have to use my fingers so you won't see the cursor. But we're just going to come in and brush that layer back on where we want it. It's not going to be super perfect. Just for the sake of time. <laughs> but yeah, something like that. Just kind of touch along in there. We can make this brush a little bit smaller. There. All right. 
Now this guy actually matches the picture pretty good. But we are going to make a few more adjustments to it. Just to help it blend a little bit better. Alright, and I'm going to do all of that too. Alright. There we go. So, there's the before, there's the after. I like the after. Alright, now I'm going to make a black and white layer. I know. It's crazy. But we're going to change the blend mode to... Sometimes I use overlay, but not on this picture. This picture I'm going to use soft light. And I'm going to, I'm going to just adjust the reds up a little bit. Um, the reds are going to be this grass. I'm, I'm changing the grass a little. So we're going to go up just a little. Not too much. And then we're going to go up with the yellows a little bit. Somewhere around there. I just want to lighten those a little. And I want to bring the blues, or the cyans, down. Yeah, not that high. Well, yeah. Somewhere around there. Alright. So there's before the black and white, and there's after the black and white. I think we are also going to maybe take that down just a little. Maybe so maybe at about 75. I don't want it to be there we go. Let's see how that looks. Too yeah, I don't want it to be too harsh. Alright. Now I made earlier when I did this, I made a, a lighting level or layer, sorry. There we go. It's not on top. There we go. Um and it was kind of subtle, but I liked it, so I'll do it again. I'm going to get rid of the specular, that's zero, and then the type of light is going to be point. And I kind of moved it right about here, right, yeah, kind of right where the birds are. And we're going to make it a little bigger, something like that. And then we're going to change the blend mode. We're going to change it to soft light. And I, I'm just going to drop it down a little somewhere around there okay but I let me show you the before and after I thought it was a little too harsh I liked the way it did the highlights but I thought it was a little too harsh on the shadows so if you just come up here to this little cog where it says blend ranges it pulls up this menu and where it says source layer ranges over here we have shadows and over here we have highlights I am just going to take the shadows and I'm going to pull it all the way down. And now you can see it's a lot less harsh. But it's very subtle. There's before and there's after. But the, the blacks aren't quite as crazy as they were. I just liked it. I don't know why. Just real subtle, but it made a difference. And then I also I wanted to change the color of the sky just a little so I got a white balance layer just for the sky so bring it down and attach it to your sky here where is it there it is ha. and I didn't mess with the white balance one I just kind of brought the tint down a little somewhere somewhere around there yeah just a different shade of blue so let me show you. Here's the before, or here's the after, and there's the before. I just, I don't know. It was a cooler blue. I just kind of liked it better. And then I also, I wanted to, I wanted to change the contrast in the sky a little bit. So we're going to make a curves adjustment just for the sky. We're going to drag it down onto the sky layer. Then we're just going to pull this down just a little. There we go. And yeah, somewhere around there. All right, now it's almost finished. This is where most of the editing ends. But I wanted to I wanted to go back in and use the 
I don't know, going, I wanted needed to go back in up, up here to the develop persona and change something. But first, I have to have everything on one layer, but I don't want to flatten my picture because I like to go back and make changes. So I'm going to go up here to layer and merge visible. And it will make, it will take everything that I've just done and put it on one layer. And I'm going to put that on the top. Okay, so if I shut that off, nothing changes. So with that layer selected, I want to go up to the develop persona. And I want to go over here to where it says lens. And I'm going to play around with that. Because this is a, the picture's a little bit flat. And I, I want it to give it a little more character, I guess. So, and I slide this distortion. So we're going to go, no, wrong way. We're going to go to the right. I just want to push everything out a little. Yeah. Just a little. It kind of, I don't know, it just makes the birds look like they're on a little different angle. And it brings this a little closer. And then I also wanted to tilt it a little. Oh, we're going to go this way. There. That brings us a little more closer. And I think that's all I wanted to do. Let me play with this some more. I just want to, I don't want to get too crazy, but I just wanted to push it out a little. All right, I'll go click on develop. And now you can see that's the before and that's the after. But also, let me show you something else. I'm going to turn all of these other adjustment layers off. And when I do that, you can see when I tilted the picture, the changed the horizon of it, um, it left these corners. I have a really quick, easy way to fix that. A long time ago, I watched somebody make or use the inpainting tool to fix corners like that after straightening a picture. And I can't remember where I saw that, but I wrote down everything they did and I made a macro for it. And I called it inpainting after straightening because I was for straightening an image, but it works great here as well. And if you want, you can look in the description below and there's a link to that macro. You can just have it for free. Yeah, it's on my website. But this is all you do. You just come over here to where it says inpainting after straightening in your library and click on it. And then you wait. And it fixes it. And it, just like that. I love it. So now let's click on that. All right, so that is the before. That's how we started. And that is how we ended. So I hope there was something that you found useful in there. Don't forget to leave any comments below and to like the video and subscribe to my channel for more. Thanks for watching.